it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm going to be talking about the 13 horror films I've chosen to watch this October 2017. I did a similar video last year and it's not like a top 10 or anything. This is just 13 horror films that I have chosen to watch this October in the run up to Halloween. In fact, most of these I haven't seen before, so that's really exciting and I'm looking forward to diving in. I just thought it would be fun to share my selections with you and see if you have any thoughts or it might inspire you to check these films out too. So, going in chronological order, first up is Frankenstein from 1931, directed by James Whale. So, Frankenstein obviously a very classic story and this particular film was one of the Universal Monster movies and I've never seen it before so Frankenstein tells the story of the classic mad scientist who has created a person out of dead body parts. Next up from 1956 is Invasion of the Body Snatchers directed by Don Siegel and I have a feeling I might have seen this before when I was a kid or it might have just been another similar era film um, with a somewhat similar plot. Um, I guess I'll soon find out when I get to watching this. If it is the one I'm thinking of, it terrified me so I'm really looking forward to it. And basically this one tells the story of a town and the inhabitants of the town start to be replaced by aliens who have you know taken over their body so they still look like who you think they are but really inside they're an alien. Next up is Onibaba from 1964 directed by Kanato Shindo. This is a Japanese black and white horror film and I honestly don't know too much about it but it has been on my to watch list for quite some time and I figured now is the perfect time to finally get around to watching it. Next up from 1974 is The Perfume of the Lady in Black by Francesco Barilli and this is an Italian giallo, gotta throw a giallo in there so this is one that I think I just heard about more recently when I was looking into films to add to this list and it looked really interesting. This one tells the story of a lady, her mother has died by suicide and the lady starts to have strange hallucinations and yeah again I don't really know too much about it but it sounds great. Next up is Tourist Trap from 1979 directed by David Schmoller. I believe this is a slasher and it's about a group of friends who end up at some kind of roadside attraction where there's loads of creepy mannequins and stuff gets crazy. This one has a great poster and it has also been on my to watch list for quite some time so yeah looking forward to finally watching this one. Next is The Fan from 1982, directed by Eckhart Schmidt. This is a German horror film and it's about a teenage girl who is obsessed with a pop star and apparently her obsession reaches, you know, violent lengths. So yeah, sounds bloody brilliant. Next is Eyes of Fire from 1983, directed by Avery Crowns. This, I believe, has something to do with like a Native American burial ground, which is always a great premise for a horror film, apparently. And this one comes up on a lot of like folk horror lists, and this had been on my radar for a little while. So, yeah, looking forward to checking this one out too. And this is about a team out in space in a spaceship and something is now on board with them on their return home. So yeah, I remember it being really creepy and some really awesome visuals, so I'm looking forward to re-watching this. The next few are more recent films, and the first one of that bunch 
is The Girl With All The Gifts from 2016, directed by Colm McCarthy. And this is based on a novel that came out, I believe, a couple of years ago by Mike Carey. And I have not read it yet, but I've heard really good things about it and the film, so I'm looking forward to this one. It is set in a dystopian world and I believe there are there is some kind of zombie situation and I'm not the biggest zombie fan but I hope this one does something a bit different with the genre. Also from 2016 we have Train to Busan directed by Sang Ho Yeon. This is a Korean zombie film so yeah for someone that isn't all that fussed about zombie movies I've got two in this list but hey this one has also been on my to watch list for ages. I hear great things about it and it's basically zombies on a train. So yeah, I think this one will be a lot of fun. Another one from 2016 is A Dark Song directed by Liam Gavin. And this is about two characters. The female character um, has apparently lost her son. Um, he was murdered and she is desperate to somehow contact him so she ends up finding this occultist to help her try and contact him through some ritual. This looks like a quiet slow burn so yeah this one looks interesting. Next up from 2017 is It Comes at Night directed by Trey Edward Schultz. I believe this one is also set in a dystopian world and one family has kind of hunkered down and are trying to live their lives hidden away when another family arrives and they're seeking refuge from whatever crazy stuff is going on outside. And finally on my list is XX also from 2017 and this is a horror anthology directed by four different female directors Roxanne Benjamin, Karen Kusama, St Vincent and Yvanka Vukovic and you can't have a Halloween list without throwing in at least one horror anthology so this will be it for my list this year I think this one will be another really good fun entertaining watch so they are the 13 horror films that I'm going to be watching this October in the run-up to Halloween. Let me know if you're watching any horror films this month or if you have any fun plans for Halloween. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!